You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather. Coverage you can count on. A large avalanche sent snow sliding down Mount Shasta. The avalanche happened at Upper Cascade Gulch at 11,700 feet midday yesterday. Nobody was injured, but wind has hammered the mountain the past couple of days. And it's looking clear out on the slopes today. This is a live look at the ski park. A lot of people probably just loving that warmer weather with so much snow on the ground. Yeah, beautiful weather. Chief Meteorologist yeah. Jason Stiff joins us now with more. Yeah, days like this, you're definitely going to need that sunscreen. If you're at that altitude with no clouds outside, you'll easily get sunburn with the sun coming down as well as reflecting back up off the snow. But we're not done with the sunshine. We're also not done with the wind. But that wind has been our friend in parts of the valley. It kept the overnight lows a little bit milder. Redding only dropped down to 45, but Chico still didn't have very much wind, so it dropped down to 36. It wasn't windy in Chester with a low this morning of 8. And Alturas, <laughs> It was chilly, dropped down to zero this morning in the daytime. Highs weren't much warmer, but at least we got above the freezing mark in Alturas today. We climbed up to 34. It was 44 degrees in Chester, a mild 61 in Chico, and 71 degrees in Redding, which is 13 degrees warmer than average. And we still have a fairly clear sky outside. That's the way it's going to be tonight. It's going to be tomorrow, as well as a good portion of Thursday. There's a few clouds pushing into Modoc County by tomorrow morning, keeping us a little bit foggier, should keep us a little bit milder in the morning also, but as far as the valley and foothills are concerned, still a mostly sunny to sunny sky, especially by the time we get to tomorrow afternoon and Thursday afternoon. But there are still changes in our overall weather pattern coming. We'll have more breezes the next 48 hours. A brief break Friday morning, and then the breezes are going to come back by Friday and Saturday as the first of true troughs of low pressure move in. It's going to be pretty moisture starved. No good chance for any rain or snow from that. However, a larger trough coming in Sunday and Monday will draw in more of that Pacific moisture. So a better chance for valley rain, mountain snow. We'll still have that gusty wind to deal with too, but a better chance for some rain and snow that we're going to have for quite some time and still some lingering precipitation for us on Monday before things begin to clear out a week from today. So I want to show you one of our seven day forecast models with the amounts of rain. It still brings widespread precipitation just like yesterday, but it's backed off a little bit on the amounts, but still most places between a hundredth of an inch and about two thirds of an inch here and there. Coming up in the second half hour, I'm going to show you our other forecast model, which has really changed its tune, as well as snowfall amounts that we're expecting through next Tuesday. As far as the wind is concerned, we're not going to quite lose that just yet. We've had more gusts between 40 and 50 miles an hour today around Jarbo Gap. We'll still have gusty wind moving right down the valley and through the canyons tonight, tomorrow, all the way into Thursday, and we'll have more good chances for some windy weather going forward by Sunday when that larger storm moves our direction. So looking at our forecast for tonight, still a clear sky for most of us. Areas of low clouds and fog possible around Modoc County, dropping down to 8. That will be warmer than it was this morning. 15 for Chester, 45 for Paradise and Redding, but only 40 degrees with weaker wind in Chico. Tomorrow's highs almost as warm as today, well above average between 7 and 12 degrees warmer than it should be, between 65 and 70 for the valley, lower 60s for Paradise, 30s and 40s for the higher terrain. Next seven days in Chico, still breezy to windy right across the board. The best chance for rain and snow is going to be late Sunday into Monday for the valley and the foothills as well as the mountains and the highs will take a hit. Dropping from the upper 60s and lower 70s down to the lower 50s by Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. Again, lots of breezy days ahead, windier on Sunday and that'll be the best chance for the valley rain too. Thanks, Jason.